Throughout the Middle Ages, European art was religiously centered and lacking dimension and perspective. Then, a rebirth of ideas called the Renaissance emerged. Characterized by greater focus on human nature and human potential, realistic artistic portrayal, and a revival of ancient Greek and Roman thought. My work defined the techniques that moved art out of Gothicism and into the Renaissance, which in turn gave rise to the term Renaissance Man. Much of my artistic contributions can be spotted on my large-scale fresco painting, Tribute Money. I developed the concept of continuous narrative painting, or telling multiple scenes of a story in one work of art. In the center, a Jewish tax collector demands tribute from Jesus, who orders disciple Peter to retrieve the money from a fish. Peter then pays the tax on the right. Visibly, Peter in the back is much smaller than Jesus, a demonstration of scale. By conveying a sense of movement below fabric, I introduced the volume. I also gave rise to scientific observation in art, where the artist identifies specific light sources that give the painting its highlights and shadows, a term known as chiaroscuro. That's what makes the tribute money a whole lot more realistic than this crappy medieval rendition of Flat Stanley over here. I applied my mathematical understanding of linear perspective as shown in the coffered Roman ceiling of the Trinity. This allowed me to incorporate a focal point, the focus of the painting at a vanishing point, where all elements converge and provide depth. Renaissance artists such as Paolo Uccello imitated my application of perspective. Likewise, I used geometric proportions to paint realistic portraits, which the mathematical and perspective expert Piero della Francesca emulated in his own art. But wait, there's more! I not only knew how to make art, I could sell it too, having been employed in a woodworker's guild in my youth. Eventually being accepted as an independent master in Medici's Painters Guild, I also dabbled in the trades of physicians, apothecaries, and spice merchants. Most of my paintings now adorn the walls of the Brancacci ch Chapel, known as the Sistine Chapel of the Early Renaissance. It's been used as a training school for many Renaissance artists, including M Michelangelo and Donatello, who based many freestanding statues off of my figures. And everything I just said I did in the six years of my life that have been documented. It was a short life, but a sweet one, and I managed to use my scientific, mathematical, and artistic skills to lay the foundation for the realistic and humanist features that would come to define the Renaissance. After all, Leon Alberti, the man who coined the term Renaissance man, once stated that a man can do anything if he wills. Well, they did tell me I could do anything. So I started the Renaissance. Created using Powtoon.